Hi everyone, my name is Marina and I'm very happy to see you here on my YouTube channel. Today we have a beautiful full body vinyasa yoga flow for intermediate level. It will be rather energetic and fast paced. Within this sequence you can expect everything. Strength work, back bends, flexibility, hip stretches and hamstring stretches. We will begin with a full body warm-up in a standing position. So start by circling through your head. And the opposite direction. Come back to the center. Full body circles creatively followed by the spinning arms. Take it into your upper back. Middle back might be folding deeper forward and reaching slightly into the back bend. Wonderful! The opposite direction. Feel that your arms are following the movement of your back. One last circle and finish into the standing forward fold. Soften the knees, relax your head down. Inhale, roll up to standing, reach through the arms up, hands to heart. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. We'll go for a few more movements coming up to standing as we lengthen. Lifting up and then folding forward. Roll up to standing one more time. And hands to the heart. Inhale, lift through the arms up. Bend into the knees. Interlace the hands onto the opposite thighs and find cat and cow movement here. Looking for a deeper arch through the back. One last time. Roll up to standing, place the hands on to the hips for standing back bends. Send the hips forward, lift up through the chest. And slowly lift up to standing. Close your eyes and connect to your breathing. We will continue with a few rounds of sun salutations. At the front of the mat, inhale, lift through the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back, plank. Inhale into the plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, up cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here you can choose to slowly walk the feet in place, bending into one knee at a time, and feeling for a beautiful stretch through the back of the leg. And then hold your downward facing dog for a few breaths. Inhale. 
Inhale, walk the feet forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, walk forward. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Modified sun salutations. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the left foot back, knee to floor. Inhale, lift up, low kneeling lunge. Exhale, inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward dog, inhale, left leg up, exhale, step it through, right knee down, inhale, send the hips forward, gaze up, Exhale, hands to floor. Inhale, step forward as you lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right foot back, knee to floor. Inhale, low kneeling lunge. Exhale, inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, inhale, right leg up, exhale, step it through, inhale, low kneeling lunge, exhale. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. Well done. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step it back into the plank. We'll hold the plank for about 45 seconds, trying to recruit as much strength in the entire body as possible. Actively push the floor away, lift through the center of the chest up, engage into the core and squeeze your glutes. Well done. Bring the knees down, come into your tabletop. Right leg out, exhale, knee to the forehead. Inhale, lift through the right toes up, keep the knee bent four more times. Donkey kick to knee to forehead. Let's go for one, two, exhale, three. Perfect. Now touch the knee across and on to the other side. Keep the toes pointed and the knees bent. Slightly engage into the core and keep deep in the knee towards the mat.
10 more times here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well done. Come up one legged downward dog, right leg up. Exhale, step it through, lunge. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose as you fold over the right leg. Keep moving back and forth a few more times. Hold the final pyramid stretch a little longer. And now come up into high crescent lunge. Five knee dips. One, two, three, four, five. Amazing. Softly step up onto the right leg, left knee up. We'll go easy shrimp squat to left knee up. One, two, hold on to your balance. Three, four, five, six, one last time, seven. Hold the knee up, reach your arms down, lift the knee a little higher, and now softly step it back, left knee to the floor, low kneeling lunges, you open up through the chest. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor, find your plank, and go through your vinyasa. Let us repeat this sequence on the other side. So bring your knees down, tabletop, reach your left leg back, exhale knee to forehead, to donkey kick through the left toes up, keep the knee bent, we'll go for two, three, four, Five, touch the left knee to the side and across over the right shin. Every time lifting through the center in a rainbow shape. Keep your arms straight, core is engaged. You're doing great. Give it last ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Simply amazing. Tag the right toes, come up. One legged downward dog, left leg up. Exhale, step through into the lunge. We'll be moving between lunge and exhale into wide pyramid a few times. Feeling for a good hamstring stretch through the left leg. Hold one final pyramid stretch. And then come up into the high crescent lunge. Hands to heart. Five knee dips. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Inhale, step up, right knee up. To a shrimp squat, right knee is touching behind the left calf. One, two, 
30 4 5 6 7 hold the knee up just a little bit longer and step back into the low kneeling lunge right knee to the floor sink the hips down lift up through the heart release and go through your vinyasa beautiful downward facing dog shift into the plank we'll go for 10 knee touches here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hold your plank for about ten seconds only now step the right foot forward for a quad stretch right hand towards the left foot sink the hips down and take a few breaths release the clasp and come down into the lizard lunge position about 30 seconds here come up onto your hands step into the plank we'll repeat the sequence on the other side so first 10 knee touches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hold your plank 10 seconds Step your left foot forward, right knee down, take a quadriceps stretch. release and now come into the lizard lunge position close your eyes and try to relax into the stretch inhale step back into the plank go through your vinyasa
Wonderful. From downward facing dog, bring the forearms down and find your dolphin pose. Hold it here for about 30 seconds as we melt the chest towards the thighs and we try to send the heels towards the floor and lengthen through the back. Now come up onto your hands, bring the knees down and find your puppy pose stretch. So either bring your forehead or the chin and chest towards the floor. Your hips remain on top of the knees. Take a few deep breaths as you relax into the stretch. Inhale, lift up into the downward facing dog. Roll forward into the plank and through Chaturanga, come down onto the mat. We'll take a sphinx pose, so bring your elbows somewhere under your shoulders. And as you begin to pull your hands back towards your feet, Lift your elbows slightly above the floor. Open through the chest and engage into your back. Exhale, release. We'll go for diamond shape leg lifts 20 times. Hands under your head and you're trying to engage into the glutes and hamstrings as well as your lower back to lift the thighs off the floor. That's 10 more times. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Keep the legs lifted, reach the arms towards the ankles and lift up higher into a bow pose. Press the feet into your hands and open up through the chest. Continue breathing. Exhale, release. Take some time here if necessary or come into the tabletop and go through a few cat and cow movements. Whenever you're ready, come up into downward facing dog. Inhale, walk the feet forward. Exhale, fold forward. Lower down onto the mat. We'll take a figure four position. Keep the left knee bent. A right foot across the left thigh. Sit tall as you lift through the chest up and try to open the right knee 
away from you. Now let's cradle the right shin, extend the left forward, sit up even taller. Might be slightly rock from side to side. Bringing the shin a little closer towards the chest. Now find your double pigeon as you bring your right shin over the left shin and fold forward, a very deep hip stretch. Slowly lift up to seated and let us try the stretches on the other side. So figure four on the left side, left foot flexed and we are trying to open left knee away from the chest. Now cradle the left shin right leg forward and straight try to sit tall through your back double pigeon as you bring your left shin over the right and then might be choosing to fold forward Beautiful. Come up to seated, extend the legs forward in front of you, inhale, lift up, exhale, seated, forward fold for a feel-good stretch through the entire back side of the body. Inhale, rise up and make your way into the downward facing dog. Might be choose to go through a vinyasa. Inhale, lift through the right leg up, bend the knee and hold it here as you point it up. Now draw a few circles.
Transition into the wild thing on the left side as you step the right foot behind your back. And now try to lift the right leg off the floor, holding it here one, two, three, four, and transition back up into one legged downward facing dog. Exhale into the pigeon on the right side. First, let's go for a few wave like movements in a pigeon pose, folding forward and lifting up. Inhale, reach through the arms up. Bring your hands behind your head and try to find more space across the chest. And exhale, fold forward into a sleeping pigeon position. Inhale, come up to sit it. Might be make an angle of the front knee a little sharper. And let's take a quad stretch as we pull the left heel towards us and sink the hips down. From here, let's try a beautiful mermaid shape. Absolutely amazing. Release. Make your way out of the pigeon pose into the plank and through your vinyasa. Let's repeat the sequence on the other side. Inhale, left knee up. And draw a few circles. Step the left foot behind your back and find a wild thin on the right side. Lift up through the hips, open through the chest. And now try to lift the left foot above the floor as you squeeze the heel to butt and still maintain a wild thin shape. One, two, three, come up into one-legged downward facing dog and exhale into the pigeon pose on the left side. Start with a few wave-like movements up and down. Then in the upright position, bring your hands behind your head to lift up through the chest. And now fold forward into a sleeping pigeon.
Come up to seated, bring the left heel slightly closer towards you and find the quadriceps stretch first. And now let's try a beautiful mermaid shape. Well done, release and go through one last vinyasa. A few final breaths in the downward facing dog. Inhale, walk forward, standing forward, fold, bring the hands towards the opposite elbows, relax into your upper body. Inhale, lift up to standing, exhale, hands to the heart center. Notice how you feel, connect to your breathing. Now make your way into the cross-legged seated position. That's where we are finishing this practice today. You can choose to take a shoulder stand, belly twist and shavasana instead, taking just a little longer to observe the feelings, thoughts and our breathing. Inhale, lift through the arms up, exhale, hands to the heart center. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful practice with me. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I cannot wait to see you on the mat again. Take care of yourself and much love.